Hello and welcome back. Today we are going to create this beautiful animation in PowerPoint. Let's get started. Let's zoom out our slide and move the color palette outside of slide area. First we need to decide the height of rectangle shape which will cover the entire slide when we apply the animations. So for that, let's go to insert tab and draw circle shape holding down control and shift keys. The center of circle must be at lower right corner of our slide, that's because all our shapes will have that corner as a rotation point. The circle must be big enough so that it touches the upper left corner of the slide as shown. Make it no fill and keep the outline as it is for reference. Now go to insert tab, draw rectangle shape at the rightmost position of our slide. The width of this rectangle must be approximately greater than the height of our slide. And the height of this rectangle must be greater than the circle diameter. Only then this rectangle will cover the entire slide. Change the fill color of this rectangle shape and now we need to change the rotation center of this rectangle. As we all know, the rotation center of any rectangle shape will be at its center. But we need this rotation center to be at lower right corner of this slide, or you can say, at the center of circle. So to do that, let's duplicate this rectangle and place it at the lower portion of our slide and make sure both rectangles touch each other at the point as shown. So when we group these two rectangles and then rotate it, we can see the rotation center has now been changed to lower right corner of our slide. We will ungroup these two rectangles now and then regroup them later. Holding down Ctrl and Shift keys, reduce the size of our circle as shown. Now this circle will act as a reference to all our future animations. We need to add an arrow shape to our main rectangle shape. So go to Insert tab, draw triangle shape. Rotate this shape in such a way that the triangle is pointing along the circle outline. Now union both rectangle and triangle shapes together. Zoom out a bit and then regroup both the rectangle shapes. It's always the best practice to rename all the shapes for easy reference. Next format this shape and apply shadow effects. Increase the blur value to 10 points and set transparency to 50%. Now duplicate this group of shapes 3 more times, change their colors and align them one above the other at same positions. Make sure to rename each group of shapes for easy reference. Now let's hide blue, green, and yellow group and then proceed with our animation portion on red group.
Select the red group of shapes and then apply spin animation. Go to effect options and then change the direction of rotation to counterclockwise. Now it is important to decide the angle of rotation. As we know, if the rectangle shape is rotated by 90 degree, it will exactly fill up the entire slide. So we will set the rotation angle slightly lesser than the 90 degree. Let's start experimenting with 85 degree rotation and add bounce effect of 1.6 seconds. Let's preview the animation once. As we can see, there is no space left to add our text fields. So let's decrease the rotation angle by 82 degrees and then preview the animation again. Now this space will be sufficient to add our text fields. Go to second slide and then add text fields. Align both the text fields along the direction of circle outline as shown. Once done, let's preview the animation and make sure the arrow pointer aligns perfectly to the position of text fields. We may have to align the text fields until it gets perfectly aligned to the animation. That looks perfect. Now select both text fields and apply zoom animation. Start them with previous and now we need to decide the delay duration of this animation. For that, let's go to a previous spin animation and then check out the duration of bounce effect. Our delay duration will be exactly half of this value. So set delay duration to 0.8 seconds. Let's preview the animation once. That looks perfect. Next enable the yellow group and then apply spin animation. Now again we need to decide the rotation angle of this animation. If we look at the rotation angle of previous spin animation, it is 82 degrees. So, it's better we set 10 degree lesser than this value at every instance of our animation. So the rotation angles will be 72 degrees, 62 degrees, and 52 degrees for all remaining shapes. Add the text fields and align them along the outline of circle. Preview the spin animation and make sure the arrow gets perfectly aligned with the text fields. Select both the text fields and then apply zoom animation. Start them with previous and then set delay duration to 0.8 seconds. Continue in the same way for other two shapes and make sure to change their spin animation angles to 62 degrees and 52 degrees.
finally format the background with solid light gray color and then delete the reference circle outline. So here is the final preview. Hope you all liked it. Please don't forget to like share and comment. For business purpose members of my channel, this template will be part of your Google Drive folder as a bonus add-on. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.